Good morning, friends. Hello, how are you? I hope that you all are fine. So today we are going to start with the fourth chapter of the Hornbill textbook, that is, the landscape of the soul. Now this story uh, is about uh, three stories are uh, interwoven about different culture, that is, the European art, the Chinese art, and uh, some other painters who have done beautiful painting across the world and earned their names. Now, uh, we start with the, uh, with the chapter with, on page number 34. Today we will only cover one portion that is page number 34 and 35 a small portion, one paragraph. Uh, every day we will only do one one page so that uh, we will get the continuity of the syllabus as well as we can go slowly and steadily. So the first line, the writer tells us, it is a wonderful old tale. Now you can see the keywords, tale means an imaginative story. It's told about the painter, the painter's name is Wu Daoji. He's a Chinese painter who lived in the 8th century. His last painting was the landscape that was commissioned. Now landscape means the uh, countryside. He lived in the 8th century and his last painting was a landscape. Landscape as I said is the countryside which consists of uh, mountain, hills etc. Which was commissioned. Now commission was the meaning of commission. Commission means officially asked to create something. So he was asked to create something officially by the Emperor Tang, Zong Zong, to decorate. Decorate means to add on, A D O R N, a palace wall. So he told Wu Daoji that you create one painting, and that painting, after the creation of the painting, he will display it in one of the walls of his palace. That is what he had told. The master had hidden his work behind the screen, so only the emperor could see it. For a long while, the emperor admired the wonderful scene, discovering the forest, high mountains, waterfalls, clouds floating in an immense sky. Enormous sky. So, enormous means uh, uh, immense means enormous. Now, as I said that uh, earlier, landscape consists of high mountains, waterfall, uh, then floating uh, clouds, etc., etc. So he had created all these things in his painting. And the emperor, after that painting was done, he displayed it on his uh, palace walls, and then he was uh, admiring it for many days. But he could not understand what exactly that painting was. He saw the sky. He saw the men on the hilly path, birds in a flight, means flying, and so on and so forth. So he was confused that what is this painting about. So he asked the question to the painter. Look sir, said the painter. The painter said, in this cave, at the foot of the mountain dwells, dwells means inhabits, a spirit. The painter clapped his hand and the entrance of the cave opened. So there was one cave at the foot of the hills and then the painter said that I will take you to the cave. Then he took the emperor to the cave and as they went to the cave, towards the cave, then the painter just clapped and immediately the cave opened. Now it is only a painting, it is not a real cave. But in that painting he told him that this is what is my imaginative thing. So he took the uh, emperor towards the painting and he said that there is one spirit who is dwelling here in this mountain, in the foot of the mountains. The painter then clapped his hands and at the entrance of the, and the entrance of the cave opened. The inside is splendid, beyond anything words can convey. Convey means to communicate. Please let me show your majesty the way. Then the painter said that, now the cave is open, now I will tell you, I will take you or I will lead you inside the cave to show you the inside of the cave which is splendid than the appearance outside. The painter entered, uh, entered the cave but the entrance 
closed behind him. So as soon as he entered inside, the cave door closed. And before the astonished emperor could move or utter a word, the painting had vanished from the wall. Not a not a trace of Du Wauji's brush was left, and the artist was never seen again in this world. So this is the first story behind the landscape that uh, the Wu Daoji had prepared for the Emperor Tang Zhou Wang. Okay, thank you. Today we'll stop here. Tomorrow we'll continue further so that you will understand because there are many stories. Uh, two more stories are there regarding the painting. Now today we covered about the Chinese painting made by. Wu Daoji. Tomorrow, European painting will be there, and in the next half, another painter will be revealed to you. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.